Bobcats faced with a second and nine. Ball now at their own 29-yard line. And we have a fumble, and it's into the hands of the Raiders. Number 34 ends up with the football. That's Pierre Garza, and he's going to take the ball down. Let's see where they're going to mark him. Number 13, Angel Diaz making the stop, but... I'm not sure if there was a penalty on the flat, on the field, though. That is bull because he stripped her right away from his hands. Like there was no possession and there was a fumble. Well, it appeared that the the handoff, the exchange from the quarterback to the running back was clearly fumbled. The ball was being juggled and ended up in the Raiders' hands. The defensive man ran down the field inside the 10-yard line, but instead, I want to say the called forward progress was stopped. So not the best of calls here. An interesting call indeed. This time it'll be number 20 with the carry. That's Matthew Garza. And he'll lose about two yards on that run. Joey Torres making the tackle. And that's going to bring up fourth down for the Bobcats. Fourth and 17. Ten minutes left in the third quarter and this one a short low punt barely makes it to the bobcat 40 yard line it's going to roll maybe another two yards so it'll be marked down at the 42 so good starting field position for the raiders and i would imagine that we would start seeing some second team players out on the field yeah, it's a great opportunity for Coach Pena to, to get some look at some younger guys and get them some valuable experience, especially uh, this late in the season. Of course, they got one more game at least next week in the first round of the playoffs, but they're going to be losing quite a bit of seniors, and it's important to get everybody an opportunity to play tonight. And instead, he's still six with the first team unit. That's Olivares getting the carry. And he'll pick up enough yards for a first down. Correction, nine yards. So he's just one yard short of the first down. Number 23, Angel Lara, making the stop for the Bobcats. So it'll be second and one for the Raiders with the ball at the Bobcat 33 yard line. Olivares fumbles the snap. And they are able to recover, but they did lose some yardage on that one. Yeah, once again, just the, the quarterback not able to get the ball to the, uh, to the running back. Maybe it was a read option play and undecisive on what exactly they were going to do. But in either case, Olivares puts the ball on the ground, brings up a third and seven for the Raiders. And we're approaching the nine-minute mark remaining in the third quarter. And once again, it's still all Raiders, 28-0. Over the Bobcats. Loss of six on that play. Third and seven. Ball at the 39-yard line. And Olivares will take the snap. And he fires this one. And he has a man open. That's Renato Ramirez. But Olivares unable to connect on his second pass attempt of the game. So that will bring up a fourth down. Yeah, excellent pass protection by the offensive line. Olivares just missed a streaking Ramirez going down the post. And that would have could have been a catch for a touchdown. If he catches it, he could have ran in about 20 more yards for a touchdown. But instead, it's incomplete. Brings up a fourth down, and it appears that the Raiders will be going for it on fourth and seven from the Bobcat 37. And this time, it's Olivares who gets the carry, and he looks very close, but I think he's just a little short of the first down marker. Yeah, I, the, looking on the spot, yes, sir, you're absolutely right, Isaac. He missed it by about half a yard. So the Bobcats defense comes up with a big, huge defensive stand right there. They'll get the ball the second time they get the ball here in the s second position of the second half. So 
So first and ten for the Bobcats. Ball at their own 39-yard line. And it'll be Palacios who gets the carry. He'll pick up some good yardage on that run, maybe about five yards on that carry. Mark him down at the 38-yard line as he's brought down by number seven, Juan Garcia. So second and five for the Bobcats. Ball now at their own 38-yard line. Eight minutes and eight seconds left to go in the third quarter. Bobcats find themselves down 28 to zero. And this time it's Mades who's going to get the pitch and he'll take the ball down to about the 38. So he'll still get to about the line of scrimmage. Maybe might have even picked up a yard on that play. Number six, Cito Hernandez making the play defensively for the Raiders. And that's going to bring up a third and four now for the Bobcats. And Diaz is going to take the snap. He'll hand this one off to Palacios. And there's absolutely nowhere for him to run. Loses two yards. On that run, Brandon Garza making the tackle in the backfield. And so it'll be fourth and six now for the Bobcats. As we see Joey Torres getting back for the Raiders, getting ready to receive the punt. He'll line up at his 38-yard line. And it's going to take a bounce and stop right at the 40-yard line. So the Raiders have been <clears throat> quite fortunate all game, having good field position the entire game. Yes, they have. And it's been interesting, as we, as I noted earlier, the Bobcats elected to defer, which meant the, the Raiders elected which side they wanted to go on offense in the first half. And it was with the win. Dead ball. Personal foul. On one seven, black. And because of that, the Raiders have you like like you said, Isaac, they've had great field position. They've had short fields. When they've had longer fields, they still manage to manufacture great drives and put up points on the board, but right now the Bobcats just seem to have no answer offensively. They can't move the ball against a very stingy defense and Defensively, the Bobcats just can't slow down the running game of the high-potent Raider offensive attack. Olivada is still at quarterback for the Raiders. He'll take the snap, and he'll hand this one off to Joey Torres. And Joey Torres is going to take the ball down to about the 39-yard line. 14-yard pickup and a first down for the Raiders. Number 55 making the stop for the Bobcats. That's Ramiro Garcia. Raiders line up in a four-receiver set. First and ten ball at their own 39-yard line. Olivares takes the snap, hands this one off to Ramirez. René Ramirez picking up about two yards on that carry, so it'll be second and eight. And right now the Raiders aren't trying to be too flashy. They're just simply trying to pound the ball right up the middle, right up the gut, using that big, strong offensive line and taking full advantage of that offensive push and just merely uh, punishing the defense and picking up yards. And Olivares is going to be stopped for a loss on that run. Number 31 making the play for the Bobcats. Don't have a name from on our roster, but a nice play by that defender. And so it'll be third and nine. And that's the one situation the Raiders really haven't been in all night. A lot of third and longs. They've had a lot of short third downs. In fact, they haven't had too many third down situations. They picked up a lot of first downs on first and second down. But nonetheless, it's third and nine right now for the Raiders. Well, Ivadas drops back on third down. 
still looking for someone to throw to, and he's going to take this one on his own. And he'll be stopped about two, three yards short of the first down marker. Yeah, Olivares looking to his left side. Couldn't find a receiver. Does a smart thing. Tucks it away. Picks up good positive yards. Brings up a manageable fourth down. The Raiders are... Have been very aggressive tonight, trying to go for it on fourth down, electing not to punt, and that brings up a fourth and three from their own 46-yard line. And this run up the middle is Ramirez. He'll cross into the 20, down to the 10. He's at the five. Touchdown. And that should be a touchdown. Yeah, great run right there on fourth and three. The Bobcats played it extremely well defensively. They knew they were going to try to pound it up the middle. Ramirez breaks around the right tackle. Races about 40 more yards for the touchdown. Puts a great juke move at about the five and just jumps in. Superman style to the end zone. Touchdown Raiders. That was a 54-yard touchdown run by Ramirez, giving him 99 yards on the ground so far. 162 for Olivares. And that's going to give him 351 yards rushing altogether. And Carpio is good on the extra point. So our score here at PSJ Stadium, Raiders 35, Bobcats 0. Four minutes and 21 seconds left to go in the third quarter. And so it'll be Carpio with the kickoff duties. This one fielded at the five. And that's number eight with the return. Jerry Zaya. And he'll take the ball down to the 24-yard line. Tackle made by number 31, Edward Benya. And as you mentioned earlier, I was like 99 yards for Ramirez rushing on the night. That brings his total up to 838 yards so on the season. So that brings him that much closer to getting 1,000 yards for the season. As, of course, Olivares already eclipsed a 1,000-yard rushing mark. Dead ball. False start. On the offense, number 55. Five-yard penalty. Repeat the down. So first and 15 for the Bobcats ball at their own 19-yard line. Bobcats line up in a three-receiver set. Diaz at quarterback. He'll hand this one off to the running back. That's number 20, Matthew Garza with the carry. Tackle made by number 57, Josiah Trevino of the Raiders. And that's going to make it second and 17 now for the Bobcats. And the Bobcats have just really struggled, not only tonight, but all season long. Only scoring 67 total points. And tonight that's been the glaring weakness that they, they just can't keep the ball long enough to give their defensive rest. And PSG North has taken full advantage of that. And the Raiders are up big, 35-0 right now. And we do have flags on the field. Looks like it might be offsides on the Raiders. 
There are actually multiple flags. We have multiple fouls, two live ball fouls, illegal formation on the white team, holds the black team. And then all sides on the defense. Those penalties will decline. We have a dead ball, personal foul, hit out of bounds. That penalty will be accepted from the end of the run. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. So both penalties against the Raiders. The big one being the personal foul for the late hit out of bounds. So not only does that give the Bobcats an automatic first down, but it does put them in better field position as they now have the ball at their own 41-yard line. And so we have another flag on the field. Looks to be dead ball. Ball start on the offense. Five yard penalty. Repeat the down. So pushing back five yards. And now it's first and 15. Ball at the 36 yard line. Bobcats line up in a three receiver set. Matthew Garza, the man in motion. Diaz is going to hand this one off to Madas. Madas met at the 35 yard line by number 57, Josiah Trevino. So, second and 15. And it's been an uphill battle all night for the Bobcats offensively. The times that they do seem to be able to put a little bit of uh, yards together, positive plays, they seem to get some uh, turnovers or, I mean, excuse me, some penalties or loss of yards on a, on a play. So that, that's been an uphill battle. You've got to give a lot of credit to that Raider defense, though, forcing, it, forcing a nightmare of an effort. And Diaz is going to break free, crosses midfield. 17. Number 17, Mike Garza, forcing him out of bounds, almost got a fumble on that play. Yeah, great run right there by the Bobcats. Finally, some daylight. This is their deepest penetration of the ball game. They, this is the third time they cross midfield, but this is the first time they'll pass the 40-yard line. Great effort there by the Bobcats. 36-yard run by the quarterback, Diaz. We had a ball, fumbles forward, comes back to the fumble spot. First down. So the ball will be spotted at the 37-yard line. Diaz has a man in motion. He'll fumble the handoff, but he's able to recover it. Loses about two yards on that one. So second and 12, ball at the 39-yard line. Two minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the third quarter. And yeah, that's, I'm sorry, Isaac, but that's exactly what I was talking about earlier. You know, they pick up great yards on the previous play, and then on that play right there, they just simply fumble the snap and pushes them back to a second and 12. Diaz takes the snap, hands this one off to Mades. 
Nathan Mattis picks up about three yards on that run. He'll take the ball down to the 36-yard line as he's brought down by number 57, Josiah Trevino. So third and nine for the Bobcats with the ball on the Raider 36-yard line. As you said, this is the closest they've got to the Raider end zone. Garza, the man in motion. And Diaz is going to run this one out, but there are flags on the field. Encroachment on the defense. Five-yard penalty. Repeat third down. With the penalty, the ball is spotted at the 31. So third and four. I think that... Uh, Raider defense is getting a little bit too anxious there to get to the quarterback to the running back and that's the second or third time in recent plays that they they've jumped off sides and that's aided this uh, possession here by the Bobcats enabling them to have a, a short third and four right here with 51.3 seconds remaining in the third quarter and the Bobcats are going to think it over as they trail 35-0 They'll use their first timeout of the half with 51.3 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Bobcats find themselves down 35-0 to zero here at PSJ Stadium. I'm going to give everybody about three to five minutes to search for that ticket you bought so that you could win this beautiful PSJ North Raider helmet. So I'm going to call the number out. In about three minutes, have your ticket ready. Third and four for the Bobcats. And it'll be a run up the middle. Armando Palacios with the run picks up three yards, so about a yard shy of the first down marker. So that'll bring up a fourth and one. Well, they're definitely going to go for it here. The old adage, there's, uh, what, what is that? There's no holding back. Last game of the year. Can't hold anything back. And Here this one's intercepted by the Raiders. That's Juan Garcia with his second interception of the game. And I believe that is the third interception by the Raider defense tonight. Of course, the Raiders themselves have fumbled the ball twice, once on offense and once on special teams. So they'll take over with the ball at their own 29-yard line with 15.6 seconds left to go in the third quarter. At quarterback for the Raiders, number 21, Dion Hernandez. He'll keep the ball and run this one. He'll run it down to about the 44-yard line. Number 23 making the tackle. That's Angel Lara.
And that's going to do it for the third quarter here at PSJ Stadium. Our score, Raiders 35, Bobcats 0. And so on first down. That's number 18, Rene Ramirez with the carry. Giving him 103 yards rushing on the night. He's brought down by number 38, Armando Palacios. And it'll be second down and eight for the Raiders, who have the ball at their own 42-yard line. Raiders lining up in a four-receiver set. Hernandez takes the snap. He'll drops back. And he's going to run this one now on his own. He'll cross midfield. And he's still on his feet. Unable to come brought down. He's going to be finally stopped right at the 35-yard line. Yeah, great elusiveness there by number 21 running. Fearlessly down the left sideline, right in front of the Raider bench, picks up great chunks of yards, but we may have a penalty that brings it back. That was Christian Roxburg making the tackle for the Bobcats. Illegal formation on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Repeat the down. So wipe off that nice run by Hernandez. So instead of first and 10 from their own, around the 40-yard line, it'll now be second and 13. Ball now at their own 37-yard line. And Raiders lining up in a four-receiver set. Hernandez at quarterback. He'll take the snap, fakes the handoff, and he'll run this one up the middle as he's brought down at the 40-yard line. Pickup of about three. He's stopped by number 11, Albert Vasquez. And that'll bring up a third and long for the Raiders. Third and 10 at their own 40-yard line with 10 and a half remaining in the ballgame. Four receivers for Hernandez. As he looks to the sideline for some last-minute adjustments, last-second adjustments, I should say. He'll take the snap, almost fumbles this one, rolls out to his left, and this one nearly intercepted, intended for number 11, Darren Fuentes. Instead, it was almost intercepted by number 19, Gonzalo Rodriguez, and that's going to bring up a fourth down now for the Raiders. Yeah, when the... The snap was bobbled by Hernandez, really no for, where to, for him to go. Didn't find a receiver. Tried to force the ball in there. Luckily, it wasn't intercepted, as you said. That brings up a fourth down, and the Raiders will definitely go into a punt formation here. They'll be kicking into the wind as it still hasn't slowed down. Low snap, able to get this punt off. And it's going to bounce out right at the 50, finally roll into Raider territory. And they're going to mark it down at the 48-yard line. That was a net of uh, nine yards on that punt into a stiff breeze. So the Bobcats will have uh, excellent field position starting on the Raider side of the football field. They trail 35-0 with 9.57 remaining in the ball game. The Raiders have dominated both offensively and defensively tonight. Illegal <laughs> 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 
illegal substitution on the defense, 12 men on the field, five yard penalty, first down. So it'll now be first and five for the Bobcats, nine minutes and 57 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. We have a fumbled snap. And the quarterback, Diaz, is just going to be smart and fall on this one. Yeah, and the Bobcat offense has just been completely out of sync tonight. You'd, you'd think, you know, 10 games into the season, they'd find some kind of uh, consistency, but unfortunately they haven't. Of course, some of that has to do with this uh, very tough, aggressive Raider defense, but... Nonetheless, it's back to the drawing board for the Bobcats. Hopefully next year they can rebound and be a little bit more productive and a bit more competitive. That was an eight-yard loss on that play. Second and 13, and now we've got a flag on the field. So it's now going to be second and 18 for the Bobcats. Ball's now at their own 44-yard line. Nine minutes and 10 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. A game that's been all Raiders as they lead 35-0. to zero. Bobcats in a three-receiver set. Man goes in motion. Another fumbled snap, and this time it's going to be recovered by the Raiders. And yes, the, it is. And the Raiders take over with the ball at the 35-yard line. Number 58 with the recovery. That's Danny Torres. Yeah, that's going to give the Raiders excellent field position once more at the Bobcat 35-yard line. Already up 35-0. 8.45 remaining in the ball game. So first and 10 for the Raiders. Hernandez in at quarterback. And he'll take the snap hands this one off to the running back. In at running back for the Raiders, number 86, Brandon Bradford. And he'll pick up four yards on that carry. Angel Lada making the tackle for the Bobcats. And it'll be Bradford once again with the carry. He'll pick up about a yard on that run. Angel Lada making the tackle for the Bobcats. And that's going to bring up third down and five with just under eight minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. And the Raiders right now just simply trying to run the clock out, even though they're not using a lot of the play clock there's still 15 seconds on the play clock they're at the line of scrimmage but the Raiders will continue to run the ball and just try to pound it right up the middle and it's Bradford once again who gets the carry he'll take it right down to the first down marker should be good enough for a first down and it is as they get sets move the chains number 44 making the tackle for the Bobcats that's Arnold Guerrero So first down, ball at the 25-yard line. Hernandez takes the snap, drops back, and this pass nearly intercepted. Number 16 almost coming up with the interception. That's Jacob Gutierrez, and that's going to bring up a third down for the Raiders.
So third down, that incompletion stops the clock. And it'll be Hernandez who gets the carry. Deion Hernandez down at the 16-yard line. He'll be about a yard short of the first down. 19. Number 19 making the tackle for the Bobcats. That's Gonzalo Rodriguez. So fourth and one now for the Raiders. Or third down. And it'll be Hernandez who finds some running room still on his feet. He's in the end zone. Touchdown Raiders. 16-yard run by Dion Hernandez. Yeah, great effort there by Hernandez. Comes in and spell Olivares. And really the Raiders haven't lost a beat. Hernandez doing the job. Touchdown for the Raiders. And that's going to make our score here 41-0 to in favor of the Raiders. Still waiting on the extra point attempt. And that's going to give the Raiders 391 yards rushing on the ground. And 77 rushing for, uh, 77 total, pass, I mean, total for Enver. And 77 total yards of offense for the Bobcats. So our score here at PSJ Stadium, Raiders 42, Bobcats 0. And Carpio kicks this one off. It'll be signaled for a fair catch at the 30-yard line. Number 30, Alex Garcia making the call. And so it'll be first and 10 for the Bobcats. And I think the biggest question right now is, Isaac, can the Raider defense complete this shutout? They got six and a half minutes to complete this 42-0 uh, shutout. And just as I say that, the uh, Bobcats fumbled the snap past the shotgun center quarterback exchange for a loss of another about 10 yards. Cesar Castro making the tackle. Loss of 11 on that play. And it'll be Omar Garza with the carry. And he'll be stopped in the backfield. It's going to be third and 25 now for the Bobcats, making the play for the Raiders. That was number 53, Frankie Salcedo. So yeah, that brings up a very insurmountable third and 25. And Garza dropping back. And this pass is going to be incomplete. Intended for number 20. That was Matthew Garza 
And so that's going to bring up a fourth and 25. And we'll probably see Edinburgh's punting unit coming onto the field with five minutes and seven seconds left to go in the fourth quarter, already down 42-0 to zero to the Raiders. Yeah, and the Raiders once again should have the ball around midfield now that the wind has died down. The rain continues to come down, a little bit of a nice little mist, a nice little drizzle. And this will be number 25 with the return. <clears throat> and it's going to be a fumble by the Raiders. Yeah, that'll be the second time this evening that the Bobcats punt. The Raiders just don't execute on special teams, and the Bobcats recover and keep the drive alive. That was Ruben Cavazos coming up with the fumble. <clears throat> and I think that's going to be the biggest thing that uh, Coach George Pena over here at uh, PG North is going to have to address if his team wants to continue playing in the playoffs, advance for the, past the first round. They need to shore up their special teams and their penalties. And this pass incomplete, the intended receiver number eight, Jerry Zaya. That was number 10 on the coverage for the Raiders, Damian Fuentes. And Zaya actually had a, a step on his defender. There's the quarterback just couldn't get the ball to him in stride. Falls for an incomplete pass, but that's the deepest threat that the Bobcats have had in scoring tonight. And right now the lethargic offense for the Bobcats have mustered only 62 yards, and the lethal weapon that's called the PGA North Raider attack has 391 yards of offense. So no gain on that run right there. So it'll be third and ten. Four and a half minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. Number 48 making the stop for the Raiders, Thor Hernandez. Third and ten for the Bobcats. Garza takes the snap. This pass is complete to the intended receiver. That's number five. John Murillo making the catch. Still short of the first down, number seven. Juan Garcia making the tackle. And that's going to bring up a fourth and five now for the Bobcats, who look like they will be going for it. Ball at the Raider 40-yard line. Clock still ticking down to 3 minutes and 35 seconds. 15 seconds left on the play clock. Yeah, right now the Bobcats in no hurry. They're trying to be effective as possible offensively, but not too much urgency right now coming from this offense. Dead ball. Delay a game on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Repeat, fourth down. And so the live game is going to push them back. It's going to be fourth and ten now for the Bobcats. Ball will be spotted at the Raider 45-yard line. Clock still going. Three minutes and seven seconds left in the football game. Play clock now down to ten seconds. Garza drops back, gets this pass off, and it's almost complete to the receiver. That one intended for number five, John Murillo, unable to bring that one in. Yeah, Murillo catches it. That's a clear first down. That would have been a huge pickup right there for the Bobcats. Would have had him at about the 20-yard line. But instead, it bounces off his shoulder pads, falls incomplete, and the Raiders will remain intact with that shutout. They have a 42-0 advantage right now with 247 remaining in the ball game. And they have the ball at their own 45-yard line. Four receivers set now for the Raiders. Hernandez takes the snap. He'll hand this one off 14. to the running back. That's number 14, Bo Adams. 
loss of two yards on that run. He's brought down by number 11, Albert Vasquez. Once again, Raiders coming out in a four-receiver set. Hernandez takes the snap, hands this one off to Adams. Adams is going to pick up about three yards on that run. Third and nine, number 32, Danell Jones with the tackle for the Bobcats. And once again, the Raiders are faced with a third and long. Third and nine, ball on the 46-yard line. One minute and 45 seconds remaining in the ball game. Four receivers set now for Hernandez and the Raiders. Hernandez takes the snap, and this will be Bo Adams getting the handoff. And he'll be taken out of bounds right at the 48-yard line. Number 37, making the tackle for the Bobcats, Jose Perales. Yeah, that brings up a fourth down now with over just a little bit over a minute to go in the ball game. <clears throat> Got to give a lot of cr uh, congratulations to this Raider program, turning it around from last year, going one and nine, getting themselves into the playoffs. And I think they are playing their fo best football they played all year right now. And that's a good sign heading into the first round of the playoffs next week. And here's Hernandez with the run still on his feet, finding some blockers. And it's a touchdown, Raiders. Wow, great run by Hernandez. It appeared he was going to go out of bounds once or twice, almost tackled again. Stays in bounds. Miraculous example right there. 48, 52-yard run. Touchdown, Raiders. And Carpio is good with the extra points. So with 36 seconds left to go in the football game, our score at PSJ Stadium, Raiders 49, Bobcats 0. And Carpio kicks this one off. It'll be fielded right around the 30-yard line. Matthew Garza with the return. He'll take it down to the 40-yard line. Tackle made by number 20, Leroy Vasquez. And the Bobcats will have one, two more plays to try to get on the scoreboard. <clears throat> and they got 60 yards to go. And only 32 point seconds to do it in. This Raider defense has been lights out the last few games, and once again today, doing exactly what they do best, and that's play good, play solid, hard nosed football. That's Saul Ramirez with his first carry of the game. 
Number 10 making the tackle for the Raiders, Damian Fuentes. Yeah, and Fuentes put a good hard lick on the running back right there. Made him pay for those nine yards. And that looks like that's going to do it for us here at PSJ Stadium. Bobcats try to run one more play, and they'll get this one off. Garza's going to run this one up the middle. Does pick up a first down, but it's too little too late. And that's going to do it for us here at PSJ Stadium. Our final score here, Raiders 49, Bobcats 0.